Now that we know how to create a new Next.js project and what the project structure looks like, it is time to dive into the different features that Next.js offers. In this section, we will explore the routing feature offered by Next.js, specifically focusing on the app router. Next.js implements a file system based routing mechanism where the URL paths accessible in the browser are defined by files and folders within your code base. Let's dive into the code and understand with an example. I have opened VS Code, and as you can see, I have created a new Next.js project using the command npx create hyphen next hyphen app at latest, and the project name is routing hyphen demo. Once the command is executed, you should have a project similar to mine. Open the project and navigate to the source folder. For a fresh start, delete the app folder as we will learn how to create routes in Next.js from scratch. Now, I already mentioned that Next.js has a file based routing mechanism. But does that mean every file in our app corresponds to a route? Well, no. If you remember from the intro video, I mentioned that Next.js is a framework where we need to follow certain conventions. Routing is one such feature where we have to heavily follow the framework conventions. What are those conventions? Well, let's understand with a few different scenarios. First, all routes must be placed inside the app folder. Second, every file that represents a route should be named page.js or page.tsx depending on whether TypeScript is used or not. Third, each folder corresponds to a path segment in the browser URL. When these conventions are followed, the file automatically becomes available as a route. For scenario one, let's add a route that needs to be rendered when a user visits our website. Our website is of course, localhost 3000. So if the user navigates to localhost port 3000, we want to display a message home page. Let's head back to VS Code and implement this scenario. Now, the first important convention you should know is that by default, all routes must be placed within a folder called app, which will exist within the source folder. Let's create a new folder called app within source. The second important convention you should know is that every file that corresponds to a route in the browser should be named page.tsx. Page is the name of the file and tsx is the file extension. Within the app folder, let me create page.tsx. In this file, I'm going to default export a very simple React component. Export default function home and we return an h1 tag that says home page. The text, of course, can be anything you want to. For example, welcome home. And believe it or not, we have created our very first route in Next.js. We can now run the command npm run dev. And when you open localhost port 3000, you should see the text welcome home. So this is the first point to keep in mind about routing in Next.js. The page.tsx file within the app folder maps to the root of your domain. Scenario one has been successfully implemented. Now, before we proceed, let's discuss the layout.tsx file. Although we deleted this file along with the app folder, Next.js automatically creates and populates it when we load the root route. We will cover layouts in detail in future videos, but it is important to be aware of this file being magically created. Next, let's move on to scenario two. In this scenario, we need two additional routes. One route to render when the user visits the about page and another to render when the user visits the profile page. Let's head back to VS Code and define the two new routes. In the app folder, 
I'm going to create another folder about in lowercase. Within the folder, I'm going to define a new page.tsx file. In this file, I'm going to default export a React component. Similarly, let's create yet another folder in the app folder called profile. Create a new page.tsx file. Copy the React component and change about to profile and the text to my profile. If you now save both the files and head back to the browser, the home page should still be displayed at the root route. However, if you navigate to localhost 3000 slash about, you will see the about me page. Similarly, changing the URL to slash profile will render the my profile page. Scenario two has been implemented. Therefore, the second point to remember is that routes are associated with a file based on the containing folder's name within the app folder. Page.tsx within the about folder maps to slash about, while page.tsx within the profile folder maps to slash profile. Here is a visualization of what we have learned so far. Page.tsx within the app folder is the root route, and then each folder corresponds to a URL segment. Now what happens if you enter a URL that cannot map to a file in the app folder? For example, slash dashboard. Well, Next.js will automatically respond with a 404 not found response. You don't have to explicitly handle a non-matching route. Hopefully, the concept of file-based routing should now make more sense to you. There is no need to install and configure a router with code. Your file and folder structure determines the routes. This represents Next.js approach of convention over configuration for routing. We still have more to learn about routing, so let's continue in the next video. Thank you for watching, and please consider subscribing to the channel for more content on Next.js.